Okay, so to make use of this time and to keep Comrade from going crazy while I'm in the backyard and she can't be getting her scritches because that's really what it's about is I'm just here for the scritches. She's got itchy ears and needs them scratched and can't do it enough herself. So here's the driveway. And that's our hellebore. Finally dropped all its flowers. The ajuka. Thank you for biting me, cat. Um, and the other ajuka there. The bukara or coral bells. And then there's um, the remains of a blue jay that friend brought me. She brings us things regularly. And that one we didn't clean up fast enough and it, it turned into feathers real fast. Um, here's our mondo grass that's turning green that I need to transplant. There's apricot, okra, cat. Come on, cat. Keep moving. The ruby spurge. Um, I just determined that these tiny hostas and these big boys, although they came in the same package, might be a separate type. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. They're mismarked. Oh, and I got a coleus that I've never been, I've never been super crazy about coleus, but all of a sudden they're interesting too. Alright, another or a happy and flowering. Let's see, here's part of the reason. Also the fact that they're dramatically different sizes. This one has purple flowers. <laughs> I love it. And this one, and that's already done, has white flowers. Just fine. Let me see if I can find the variety. It is called, got a little sign here, Melting Fire. Alright, comrades, come around. Oh, and I left my watering cans. Cool. Um, the grass is doing fine that I transplanted, and the rhubarb is all doing pretty good. This one, I think, is needs to be watered more. I planted some gladiolus bulbs that my child got me for Mother's Day. I mean, it was my birthday even, so I had a while. Um, and they're mixed colors and from the dollar store. And they all popped up promptly. I mean, they were just fine. And here, our little mud pit. The uh, burnum. Microcephalus hibernum doing good. No flowers. But, you know, hey. Okay. Okay. And then Lobelia, which is the one I got from start. It's been flowering the whole time. And then this is the Crystal Palace Lobelia. And these are supposed to do well in like wet, soggy, boggy conditions. So our hollyhocks. And these, I believe, are the white hollyhocks. And so I cleaned all this out and popped those in there. And they seem to be doing just fine. Alright, I'm gonna just pop some nasturtiums in this disturbed part of just dirt. Just because. And just like here. Also, just dirt. So I'm gonna some nasturtiums. And I'll do the bed in a second. 